Hello there. So firstly, I really want to thank you all for 43,000 subscribers, which is <laughs> really crazy. I know probably 95% of you subscribe for the fantasy build, specifically the whip swords. And judging by how my last video performed, um, I guess some of you are not very interested in other stuff. But I think that's also kind of my fault because I didn't really talk about how I plan to move forward with this channel. Now wait, don't rush to the unsubscribe button. I'm obviously continuing um, the fantasy builds, especially the whip sword. As of right now, I've got at least three different iterations of the whip sword that I want to get into, as well as some other projects. The next fantasy build I'll be doing won't be a whip sword, but I think it will be just as cool and it will also be sort of two-in-one weapon. What I want to do, however, is kind of change up how I go about these videos. I think the videos are pretty cool and I'd love to do more of them. But, you know, you can imagine working two to three months on one video kind of with YouTube isn't very sustainable because I can't upload as much. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I think I'll, I'll do multi-part videos where it's necessary, especially with the whipsawed videos. Both of them could easily have been 45 minutes and I've cut out a lot um, and it's still... <laughs> I mean, I know how much you guys watched it and I think the, the whip katana is at... 9% retention rate so that's a little bit sad but it that also tells me that obviously it's a bit too long and I get it when I'm on YouTube I, I don't necessarily spend 30 minutes on a video of some guy that I don't even know I think you sort of have to earn that trust from the viewers and I'm aiming towards as I said 45 minutes I'm aiming towards free videos. That way I can keep it a little bit more entertaining and short while also having enough time to, for example, in the third part, properly test the weapon because that's something that very many people didn't really like, that I only test the product so little. But there's one problem with that and that is the YouTube algorithm. Sometimes a little bit difficult to understand what is defined as uh, dangerous or harmful acts. So you can imagine, if I'm spending two months on the project, I don't really want to risk everything by cutting a watermelon in half and then getting demonetized. So I think I'll actually put the demonstration into the last part. That way, if it comes to the worst, at least there's only one video demonetized. That way, I think I can get the best of both worlds. So fantasy builds will still be coming. Um, and don't worry, I don't mean three parts as in one part each month and uh, yeah, nothing gets done really. I'm more sort of imagining finishing the project and then uploading the three parts within, I don't know. I don't want to get too specific, but roughly seven to 10 days in between uploads so that I can kind of keep the, the channel running. So that comes to the next part that will be my content. And that is not fantasy, but sort of like modern and historical builds. So normal knives but i don't mean boringly normal knives but um something that's not founded in fantasy of course you have to keep in mind i'm still a beginner and <laughs> i can't learn new stuff by just doing giant swords and maybe trying out a new technique and that way risking like several weeks of work uh, to be destroyed because i didn't do it before i think there are some very cool historical um, swords and knives that can be done and also modern things that I want to try out to improve my skills and that way hopefully I can also make some cooler fantasy builds and then there's something completely new I want to try out to me the fantasy builds the cool thing is that the design is awesome and getting something that doesn't seem very practical made with the proper materials in real life if you played video games you know the weapons are pretty cool but what's really cool is the armor <laughs> and I really, really want to get into armoring. I've dabbled a little bit in leather working because of making knife sheaths and I really enjoyed leather working. I've actually over a year ago started doing some little armoring project. I think these slam braces that you might have seen in the katana video as well as the shoulder armor and the male coif. All of those I did myself. Not, not the best work because I've just recently started really um, informing myself about the topic, doing it properly, getting the, the proper materials. I really want to start an 
armoring series where I make some historically inspired but not historically accurate armor. Kind of like imagine how many of the Dark Souls armors look like um, cool fantasy iterations of historical pieces and that's sort of like what I'm trying to go for. The first series I want to make is a sort of <laughs> medium type armor which is uh, primarily made of leather scale tiny little plates maybe for the gauntlets let's see and now don't be afraid that because of that the fantasy builds will be even further apart because i'm now doing different things i've been doing these things but i've just didn't record it so i think it could be pretty cool to have some more content you can sort of like see it as the fantasy builds are still coming with the same spacing but there's different stuff in between and one thing very important i want to say even if you're not really into armoring or knife making. I did a lot of thinking lately about how I go about my videos. I, I set out to be sort of like more of an entertaining channel rather than a how-to step-by-step tutorial guide, whatever. I've been a little bit lackluster in that, especially with the last video. While editing, I thought it was absolutely exciting. Everything was very interesting, but um, after seeing how badly it performed, I kind of went over it again after a few days and uh, also talked about it with different people and i think i'm not really going on the entertainment route that i actually want to because there's sometimes too much talking i <laughs> i actually went to the youtube editor and uh, cut out roughly four minutes of just pointless pointless talking i mean you can watch the video right now if you haven't already i don't think you'll you'll notice a difference that i cut out something because i still get the point across and the video is much much more fast paced uh, and that's something i want to be a little bit better with uh, in the future doing entertaining stuff but since i learned everything i know about knife making and now starting with armoring from youtube i also want to give back a little bit most of the time when i'm watching something i also want to to know how it's done but <laughs> you know that's my hobby so obviously it interests me and i don't want to bore the people that just want to maybe see how it's made uh, without really wanting to learn about it. I think I've got a pretty cool solution. I've actually started a second channel called No Bull Tutorials. That's where I'll be uploading short tutorials with stuff I did in the main video. And with No Bull, I mean, it's just aimed to be one to two minute videos without talking about anything personal whatsoever. Going over how, I don't know, I repainted my shed before talking about how something is done. Because if there's one thing <laughs> it really really annoys me it's uh starting a new project doing something you haven't done before and then wanting to look a specific method up only to find out that it's buried in a 15 minute shop talk video don't get me wrong i don't mean that those videos are stupid but i get really frustrated if i want to get something done and then i have to scrub through a video trying to find for example i i already uploaded one of those videos how to set a snap rivet and leather it's just it's it's ridiculously easy but you have to know which parts you need and where to put them whatsoever this is a 30 second thing and i haven't found a single video that's under five minutes long just explaining how it's done so almost for my own sanity i decided to maybe try to fill that spot and that way i can put a select few that are interested in how i go about things and also for myself because i often go long stretches without doing a specific technique and sometimes it's just nice to have a quick little refresher to know the steps again definitely check that out the next video i'll be uploading will actually be one of the armor builds the leather shoulder armor that's inspired by the witcher 3 for that i'll be uploading uh, how i make my own chain mail and how to weave European 4-in-1 as well as 6-in-1. Maybe go go over to that channel, subscribe if you're interested, and I'll keep uploading videos as I go about. Okay, I think that's enough talking. I hope I could get you a little bit more up to speed and maybe a little bit more open-minded, even if you're not into knife making or armoring with uh, how my next videos will be going. And yeah, I hope to catch you in the next video where I will be going over how effective fantasy armor really is. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.